On a Sunday, the 2nd of September, 1945, World War II came to an end. And on the battleship Missouri in Tokyo Bay, General Douglas MacArthur accepted the surrender of the Japanese armed forces. The war to end all wars had ended, or so people believed. But less than five years later, war was to break out again, this time in Korea. Already in the north, Premier Kim Il-sung was planning the invasion of his neighbors across the 38th parallel. And when, in April 1950, he flew to Moscow, it was to obtain support for the war from the communist leaders. As the result of a treaty signed by the Russian Foreign Minister Vyshinsky, a new military alliance was formed by which Premier Kim received offensive weapons for his invasion of South Korea. Russian aircraft, heavy artillery, anti-aircraft guns, and most important of all, tanks. And it was with these Russian tanks on the 25th of June, 1950, that a peaceful neighbor was to be invaded. Another war was to break out that soon was to involve 25 different nations. This quality, Junior. Uh huh. You know my plans in Philadelphia are very fussy. Well, have I ever laid anything but the best on you? Oh. I remember some soaps and curios. Oh, that's when I didn't know you. This is quality craftsmanship. This is art. Then not say too much, Jimmy. I understand you can get shot for perjury in this country. <laughs> what would the cost be on two dozen? For you, such a beautiful lady, such a good customer, my very best price. It's so cheap, it embarrassed me to say it. Oh, and of course, there's 25% discount. And... Well, 
적의 기습 공격을 받은 우리의 용감 무쌍한 국군 부대들은 전, 전선에서 대대적인 자, 모두 집으로 돌아가요. 어서 큰일 났다고 빨리빨리 빨리 집으로 돌아가요. 빨리빨리. 그럼 너 너. 내 가면에서 잡고 그것도 보고. 그래서. 내 컴퓨터 디스 웨이. 그것도 캡터. You must get out. Now. Uh-huh. What about your army? Army? No. American embassy is so they'll take care of you. Please go now. Hurry. Hurry. Well, uh, get, get me this number. In short. No time. Please, Please go me. now. Please. Please. How close are they? We're only 10 miles from the 30th parallel, the border. Nobody has us. <laughs> I'll wait here. And when they come, you know what they'll do if they find out an American officer was here? Nevertheless, I will stay with my family. my friend. You're hurt. I have to go. I understand the war. Only because of the war. I liked it here. You'll need this. 
all those hours we talked together about the Buddhism, about the non-violence. You think that's was our talk? War changes everything. This is war, you know. And this is life. So that's how this man feels today. You know how women are. My wife will not let me throw that picture or that soul away. No matter. I have had my last of wars. Yeah, well, if some laid a hand on my family, I'd sure as hell want to use this. Now we see if talk becomes my way of life. Wait while I change. I will accompany you to Incheon. You stay on here. Thought you had it up for war. Maybe I'm wrong. After what I saw at the Hiroshima, I never thought there could be war again. And only five years later. Well, anyway, I'm glad you stayed on. A man's wife. He's his wife. Yeah. You know what my wife did when I uh, met her at the airport and told her about Lynn? She got a car and a driver and went shopping for this furniture for a interior decorating business. Some woman. She is still your wife. Lynn doesn't believe I'm coming back. You too. War. People are changed. Yeah, I know. I've been there. I want you and your family to go south, to Busan. Busan is not our home. This is... Midnight back in Washington. You used to work for MacArthur. You want to be the first one to tell him there's a war starting in Korea? I think Truman can tell him. <laughs> Hell, I bet you he doesn't even know where Korea is. All right, let's move. Seoul. 
time to take care of business, huh? I'm Bob is hotel. I'm on a plane out of here. Orchestra's rehearsing right now. That's where I'll be, not here. You don't think my newspaper made a mistake, do you? Uh, the New York Herald make a mistake? Never happened, Yank. Who cares about the 38th parallel anyway? Try the White House. Try the world. I always thought it was a dumb way to divide a country. But when the war ended and the Russians started to come into Korea, we had to do something in a hurry. So this very bright staff officer decided to draw a line on a map. And that's the 38th parallel. Oh, you don't get send me there, do you? And what makes you so special? Johnson, he's our regular Tokyo correspondent. He's home in the States on leave. I'm a critic. I came all the way here with the New York Philharmonic, from New York, by the way. Yeah, be thankful it's not L.A. You ever heard them play? They're not so bad. As a matter of fact, the string section's very good. Especially since Wallenstein took over. My boy. Your editor says you will fill in till Johnson gets back. So you will do what your editor tells you to do. Be prepared to cover the war in 4-4 four, four times. Anyway, it won't be a long one once the U.S. comes in. And they will, you know. They yeah. always do. This time, maybe they'll have to. Or it's tomorrow the world, and goodbye, Japan. I'm glad you didn't say sayonara, Japan. For these small mercies, thanks. You take the pictures I told you. I'll do the captions. My friends, it will not be a short war. The five years of peace, the greatest army the world has ever seen, has grown fat on beer. You want an example? Look at Japan. Half the regiments couldn't go to battle without their mama's arms and the Shushan boys. And for this, we thank the politicians. Gentlemen, ladies, good morning. I have a short statement to make. One hour ago, the President of Korea, the United States Ambassador, and the U.S. military advisors requested help from Washington. General Douglas MacArthur will hold a press conference in two hours. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please. Thank you. Oh, the best we've got, Bell. Those right here, most gifted general the U.S. ever produced. 22 medals, 13 for heroism. Well, at least he's not superstitious. And you have to admit he did a marvelous job here in Japan. Uh, making himself emperor, not preparing for war. Hell, the man's 71 years old. He's been on active duty for 50 years. I admit he's in shape. He watches his weight, but... Maybe you should, too. Hey, listen, I told you, you take the pictures, I'll do the captions. Want to know something confidential? Dyes his hair, too. You never do pass him a chance to knock him, do you? Harry, I'm a journalist. Covered the man since Pearl Harbor. If he is what we're counting on to save the free world, God help Korea and God help us all. Lieutenant Haig, sir. Morning, General. Time. The cable line's been burning up this morning, sir. First things first. Two messages from the president and... The real news. Of course. Sorry, sir. Army 5, Penn State 3. Good. At least the scandal didn't affect the baseball team. Proceed. Looks like the communists will be sold in the next 24 hours. Report says the ROKs don't have the equipment and their troops are too green. And all this time, our veteran troops are back here. Veteran troops Damn. grown soft with the occupation. I warned Washington. I knew it. I knew it. What do you expect from politicians? He'd sell out the army. Their mothers, too, come to that for a handful of votes. Washington? Washington's a long way away, it would seem. The president still doesn't know. Saturday night in the States and Truman's at home in Independence, Missouri. So, told you, I've been trying to reach Hallsworth. Put him on. You remember Frank? He used to be my driver. He's a good soldier, a major now. Frank! 
Yeah, yeah, I can hear how close they are. Are they good in these covenants, or is it the tank? They look like Russians. Just can't penetrate their armor. Tanks, no armor. Well, you give me some information, Frank. I want you to give me a lot more. Meet me on the airfield at Su Wan. I'll confirm the exact time tomorrow. Yeah, well, if it's still there, you can bet your ass up. And remember one thing. I mean, Roger, Jeff. Yes, sir, I'll remember that. Sergeant, grab this, will you? Remember what? That we're not combatants, just neutrals. Hey, he called you Frank. Yeah. Well, the man's not God. Just an emperor, for Christ's sake. I was his driver. Australia, lady, the Solomon. Oh, you're telling me he had a Marine on the staff. That's right, a token Marine. Oh, sh Looks like a hell of a time to start being neutral. Of course I know Frank. We went to their wedding. Nice girl from Boston. And good family. Almost something in between the Cabots and the Lodgers, I seem to remember. My dear, there's nothing between the Cabots and the Lodgers. They wouldn't allow it. <laughs> Besides, it was Philadelphia, now I remember. I even remember that it was a silver tea set like this that we gave them. And Frank even promised he'd learn to drink the stuff. <laughs> so soon? I'll see if signals at Daiichi can raise the dead in Washington on our direct line. Truman's an early riser. It's too good to last, wasn't it? Because it doesn't look as if I'm going to be seeing much of you in the future. Don't you believe it. They'll probably send out Joe Collins or Omar Bradley. They don't like me in Washington. Who oh, you fooling? If there's anybody going to save this world, you know it just has to be you. My, but you put it strongly. Hey. That's the way it's going to be. Now, on your way. Oh, Jean. Don't say it. I know. I shall return. But not too late for dinner. <laughs> Come on, Blackie. It's up to you and me to save this world. for 24 hours and we've only gone 10 miles. Isn't there another road?
여보세요. 어이 차좀 빌려 달란 말이에요. 네? 어이 빨리 어이 차좀 빨리 빌려 주세요. 네? To the church on time? Negative. Pick one of them up. We'll have all of Korea on the next. For you. We can get the hell out of town before the North Koreans get here. Happy wedding. Good luck. Thank you. Well, maybe she got out last night with the other Americans. Yeah, well, she hasn't been here. The airport shut down, probably on her way to Suwon. Right girl. Give me a hand there, will you? Anything to help win the war. One, two, go! I think I'll have a last look up north. I'll head south to Suwon. A good idea. Hey, listen, you sure you want to do that? Well, I'm the one who got her here. Okay. See ya. So long.
주십시오. 쟤들의 부모는 죽었습니다. 쟤들은 우리 가문을... Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Come on, get out of there. Quick. Sir, get into the bus and out of here. 빨리 빨리 가세요. 저희 아버지 폭파합니다. I can't shoot. The man in front of me. 야, 빨리 빨리 가세요. 
ديو ديمينترن ابتدانا تاغاكي بيه قلبي هالجو وريتري توتشاغا كيداريغو يسو اوي يا جشتا ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっ
very softly in case you were asleep. I was too excited for that. I'm not excited, but I can't sleep. What's worrying you? Jean. Yes? You don't think I'm too old? You ask a silly question, and you'll get a silly answer. I don't think I'm too old, but other people will. Since when did you ever care what other people thought about you? You have to see this as the hand of God. Mr. Truman and all those little men in Washington thought that by leaving you out here, far away from everything, that you would be forgotten. That, that you would simply disappear from sight. Simply... Fade away. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when the soldiers used to sing that old song. It was Manila, wasn't it? Manila. Everywhere. The Australians used to sing it at me. <laughs> and now, once again, you are the center of the world. The man of the moment, if I say so myself. And you are going to show them that you are the greatest general in the world. Greatest 71-year-old general. Oh, there's nothing to that. You just have to believe that this is what you were born for. All your life has been leading up. Now, you go to bed, and this time, go to sleep, you hear? Sure I can't get you a warm drink or something? No. Now. Uh, yes, okay, it's a good idea. I was feeling tired. You can drive. Get the gun. It's in the compartment. Don't let him see. Okay, I've got to get the door open. Buddy! Wait a minute. I can't get the door uh, open. I'm sorry. Uh. Buddy! Glad to see you. <sighs> What's this? Last time I saw you, had a Jeep. Well, hell. The last time I saw you, you didn't have five kids. Was he anyone I know? You don't know how glad I am to see you. You wouldn't believe what we've been through. The kids, the car. Gus, 
Mm-hmm. I used the gun. I killed a man. You did? Yeah, back there. I know it's Korean. Hey, hey, come on, come on, come on. Take it easy. Just one less. Gets the infiltrating everywhere around here now. What else you do? Try to kill this car, too? Ow! Damn, that's hot. Is it fixable? Yeah, yeah, just a good old American know-how. Between us, I don't know how. All right, Mrs. Holdsworth, you want to hand me that box of tools? What's this Mrs. Holdsworth bit? Well, officer's wife, rich Philadelphia lady. Right now, I'm just a woman with five kids, stuck in the middle of a war. Oh, you have changed. I have? Uh-huh. They're all dusty. Quite a bit worn, and I must say, motherhood does become you. Thank you very much. Wait, time out, time out. Listen, you guys have got to make yourselves useful, all right? Come on, here, take some of this. Biggest, roll under that. Big, smallest, come on, take that. Little, small, okay? Now, I don't want to hear a peep out of you, got it? Not a peep. Yeah? Yeah, what? How would you believe the entire time we're up by the parallel? And in Seoul, the only thing he was worried about was you? No, I wouldn't believe you. Well, it's true. I mean, there's a war going on. A man can get himself killed. And what does he do? He takes off for a couple of days looking for you. I just thought you ought to know that. End of speech. Yeah, battery cable. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Jump in. Let's try to start it. What happened to what's her name? His little Korean cookie, Lim. Did he get her out, too? Enchan, that's where she lives. <laughs> ah, you see? Didn't I tell you? Just good old American know-how. <laughs> come on, everybody in. Let's go. Come on, move, move, move. move. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Next stop, Suwon. That's where we'll meet Frank, if all goes well. Oh, great. That's all Frank needs is an abandoned wife and five Korean orphans. Hungry orphans to get on the last plane out of here. Ah, uh, don't worry. You can handle it. No, we're going to head south. All the way to Busan. We'll be safer for the kids. And if that sounds noble, it isn't. Um, maybe I just want Frank to know that I don't need him. What if he really wants to help you? Well, he can always find us for the Red Cross. Right now, a care package will come in pretty handy. Good luck, Barbara. So long. and one scared U.S. sergeant. What about Barbara? Don't worry, I saw her. Get across the bridge? Yep. And the lady says she doesn't need your help. She's gonna make it all the way to Busan on her own steam. Stubborn bitch. What does she think this is, a game? Navy planes! Navy planes! That's our side for a change. Radio the Batan, it's all clear for the general.
President. Ambassador. Welcome to Korea, General. Gentlemen. General Park. We'll see about that in time, Frank. Let's go upstairs. Take a look. Yes, sir. Congratulations, sir. If I want those little doodads for me. I'll tell you what. I'll let you wear it at night. says we'll be over the coast in a few moments. I sent for you. That channel into Winchon from this distance looks difficult. Well, up close is impossible. I know. I've got friends down there. Those two islands serve as natural guards to the mouth of the channel. You'd have to go right in between them. At night? <laughs> At night. That lighthouse out would be suicide. Fifty ships going through that channel at night. Not fifty ships. More like two hundred and fifty. Nothing to be ashamed of. I always had a weak stomach myself. So did uh, Caesar. So, by the way, did Admiral Nelson. Feeling the pressure this time. Well, he was raised to handle pressure. He's his father's son. Who was his father? I said right now, I care. General Arthur MacArthur. They called him the, the boy general, the Union Army. Hey, Tuscanini. Let me tell you a little story. It'll take your mind off other things, all right? Now, it seems a long time ago that General MacArthur's regiment, that's Arthur MacArthur's regiment, uh, survivors of his famous victory at Cemetery Ridge decided to hold a reunion. The Smithsonian Institute, the regimental flag draped behind the dais. When the meal ended, the general got to his feet to give the benediction. While he was speaking, he was seized by a stroke and collapsed on the table. The remaining members of the regiment, God knows why, they did not go for help, got to their feet, raised their glasses high, and began to sing the battle hymn of the Republic. While they were singing, Arthur MacArthur died. His men wrapped him in the tattered battle scarred flag of Cemetery Ridge and hoisting him on their shoulders, which must have been very difficult considering how old they were. Carried him through the night to Arlington Cemetery. And Douglas MacArthur has grown up with that memory and has felt the pressure of living up to that image. That, uh, Legend. So, we'll get your 24th Division over here in a couple of days. I've already given the orders. Hey, what do you think the enemy will be by then? Shh. 
Right there moving, somewhere around here. Hassan? Better get there, Frank. Tell me what's happening. What's really happening? Not one of these army news bulletins they hand out. Not that I haven't handed out a couple of them time. I just wait till the 24th get here. Once our boys are in action, it'll be a pushover. Depends on who pushes who. Take you boys in the 24th away from all your Japanese ladies. Yeah, well, this will only take a few days. Let's show this how Americans fight. Kick this at them and get the hell back to old Nippon. Sounds like you got business there. Sure. You're damn right. She can cook, too. And not just rats.
Yes, it's a great defeat. A crushing defeat for the enemy. Yes, we lost Tosan. We retreated, but look how the enemy has spread out its forces. For days before the battle, we have shown our enemy an arrogant display of strength. Utter bluff. We had nothing. If the enemy had concentrated his forces, he could have broken through anywhere. Driven a wedge, thrown us right into the sea. Now he has five different thrusts coming at us. Not one of which will ever pierce the defenses I'm building up around Pusan here. Believe me, my friends, God is on our side. Though at times you may find it hard to believe. if she could now tell you she's hungry. Welcome. Welcome to St. Mary's Mission. I'm 
Fernandes. Hold it, Hold it. Hold it. All right. That's enough. Put it down. How do you know it's the bridegroom? No, not yet. Mila. Mm. I can't say goodbye. Barbara, do you really have to go? Yes. I'd rather go on alone. The kids will be safe now. And you'll take care of them. Yes, but Barbara... waited for you. Chief of Staff, Collins. All the way from Washington, I think I know why. You felt if you're so goddamn smart, you tell us what's going on. You really want to know? Oh, I'm still learning. Tell me. Uh, kid, you hire a spy, just like the North Koreans. Huh? And what does your spy tell you now? Well, he tells me that Admiral Sherman could be carrying a letter authorizing him to fire one General Douglas MacArthur. Operation Crow, my gentlemen, revolves around Seoul, the capital of South Korea, and most important, Incheon, its port. All in enemy hands for the past two months, like the rest of the country, except for the tip of the peninsula, where we still hold this small area around Pusan. Pusan, I repeat. And not Dunkirk, as most of the newspapers would like us to believe. Because General MacArthur has no intention of being defeated, nor is there any question of a withdrawal. Now, that's the rough part. But in the past two weeks, our defenses in the Pusan perimeter have been strengthened almost every day. And as you can see, the area we still hold is not very large. It has succeeded in drawing the North Koreans a hell of a way from home with long supply lines, all concentrated here in Seoul, which controls all the road and rail communications between North and South Korea. Now, picture Incheon and Seoul as an anvil upon which a hammer will strike. The hammer of our 8th Army, breaking out from Pusan, pushing up to the north, and joining with our forces in and around Seoul, cutting off and destroying 100,000 enemy soldiers. Now you have the folder of Operation Chromite in front of you, and you're at liberty to open them. General Allman, the Joint Chiefs of Staff have asked me to voice our objections. First, we think September 15th is too soon. The Navy has insisted on a water depth of 26 to 32 feet for the landing. We have it that day, maximum high tide. High tide also occurs on October 11th and November 3rd. We should wait till then. There is danger of monsoons in the Yellow Sea after October 1st. The Marines have to land in Incheon Harbor itself. The sea walls are 20 feet high. If we don't complete in one hour, our ships will be high and dry on the mud flats, which run out for three miles. We will complete in time. Schedule on page seven. Incheon is so far from the 8th Army in Pusan, it's a hell of a long way to fight back. After we take Incheon and then Seoul, the enemy will have to retreat in order to protect its lines of communication. Which General MacArthur intends to cut off. One bold supreme stroke. Here in Incheon. I've already given you the details. The date of the operation is September 15th. 
Admiral Doyle, you want to say something? Quite apart from the date. Well, I couldn't take my fleet. And you're talking about more than 250 ships in the dark, down narrow sea lanes and in Charn Harbor, which is certainly mine. Impossible, General. Impossible. I can't let my Marines go in there. Knowing they must hold the entrances in the islands with no means of evacuation, it would be suicide. I don't know why the president bothered to send us. Doesn't look as if I need any letter of authority, that's for sure. My objections don't mean much. If the Navy and the Marine Corps aren't going forward, I don't think there's any reason for any further discussion. Therefore... But I think there is, General. Admiral Doyle is right when he says the invasion of Inchon is impossible. It is utterly impossible. And that is why it is going to succeed. Nobody in their right minds would ever dream of an invasion of Inchon. And nobody in his right mind would ever set up any serious defenses. I suppose that must be why, as of last night, there were only 4,084 North Koreans from their 112th Division guarding the entire Incheon area. That was the report on the defending forces as of last night. But uh, 12 minutes ago, I received a signal from the British Navy submarine Trident where she lies submerged in Incheon Harbor reporting that no mines have been laid. Of course, I cannot guarantee what may have happened in these last 12 minutes. <laughs> I may also say at this time that the British Navy has offered to escort any landing forces that may be necessary. They will also supply us with landing forces of Marines to go in with our Korean allies, should this be necessary. That is correct, Admiral Lawson. Yes, General, that is correct. And the Turkish Brigade under Brigadier Kemal here have volunteered... That General, I never said we would go. Time to, no, I have no, not no. finished. Now that we have established that the Marines will land at first light September 15, <laughs> we know they will hold the necessary positions until the rest of the 10th Corps can land on the high tide that evening. So that Incheon, and then the capital city of Seoul, will be recaptured in a matter of days, and the whole invading army of North Koreans will be Cut off. This, I promise you, will happen. For right is on our side. And right is with God. And he will not let us fail. I can almost hear the ticking of the second hand of destiny. We must act now, or we will die. Inchon will succeed, and it will save 100,000 lives.
The reason we need all of these ships is we have to land the whole of the 10th Corps in just one hour. The high tide in these waters lasts one hour. It's just possible that'll be enough time. But if the Marines don't take the protecting islands in the dawn attack, you obviously can't go ahead with the main invasion at dusk. Mm -hmm. To get the Marines into position, we'll have to sail through here by night. So the lighthouses there, there, and especially this one, will have to be in operation. Two ships colliding in the dark, the whole entrance would be blocked. We'd be, we'd be sitting ducks. I have to tell you, General, I didn't sleep last night, and I'm still worried stiff right now. I'm sold on the landing. Any landing that'll take the pressure off our forces out of the Pusan area. But I strongly propose Kunsan. Here, instead of Inchon, which is every known difficulty for a landing. Kunsan has no tide problem. It's got a convenient harbor, it's on the same side as Inchon, and it's not half as dangerous. My friend, you've been looking at the map, but you've not been reading what it says. Kunzan, sure. Easy to take with good reason. It has no decisive influence on the war. We still have to drive the communists from the Pusan area all the way to North Korea, yard by yard, mile by mile, may take months, with thousands of casualties. We land at Incheon. We take Seoul. Seoul, the hub of all North and South communications. Here, I shall crush them. I shall drive them right beyond the Chinese frontier. Korea shall be reunited. Peace shall come to this peninsula, to Asia, perhaps for a long, long time. If we fail here to destroy them totally, we shall be fighting another bloody feudal war somewhere else, a year, 10 years from now. If now, we merely stop them, stop them going east to Japan and they'll turn somewhere else, south inevitably, Indochina. Victory at Incheon means a boost for the morale of the United Nations. It means a positive effect on public opinion throughout the world. It means the end of the Kremlin's ambitions of taking a hold in Asia. And it means the Koreans can harvest this year's rice crops and the people can eat. All right, let's submit. We take the beaches. We land here at Incheon. But say we can't reinforce the Marines for the whole of 12 hours. What's to prevent another fiasco like at Anzio? Admiral, I was not at Anzio. But everything seems to depend on one small thing, a lighthouse. Gentlemen, you have my word. The lights of Inchon do not go on and stay on. The whole invasion will be abandoned. What's really worrying the Joint Chiefs of Staff is this date. September 15th doesn't give any time for preparation. Why, it's less than a month. You had nearly six months to prepare for Okinawa and Leyte. I have to agree. General Collins, in one month from now, we'll be fighting 10 times as many troops defending the city. I have information the North Koreans plan to reinforce it toward the end of the month. So, September 15, it has to be. You're right, General. September 15th, it has to be. I realize I'm merely the token Turk, and my brigade hasn't arrived yet. But perhaps in the first reconnaissance party, you'd find a place for a few of us. Which reconnaissance party? I'm not that simple. You're going to have to send a small force to seize those lighthouses, particularly this one for the Marines to get in position by daybreak. <laughs> Colonel Hallsworth here's probably been wondering why he's sitting in. Now he knows. God almighty. If 
That's a prayer, Colonel. Don't stop now. You mean, sir, I've just found out I'm the lighthouse party. You're the only man I know who's lived almost a year on that island. Of course, it's a job for a volunteer. I could swear I distinctly heard someone volunteer. Up at your villa around nine o'clock. Don't make it any later. We have lots of things to talk over. Right. Ciao. Ah, you find your girl? No, not yet. How are you, Colonel, sir? How'd you like to fly in a plane at 14,000 feet without oxygen? Land on a carrier in a half gal? Hell no, not me. Word about Barbara? No, but knowing her, she'll be along at any time. I hope so. And this, this is crazy. Day after day, they keep bringing more and more men into Busan. That's good. I like company. Oh, yeah? Comes time to evacuate. You be responsible for getting these men out. Don't look to me for help. Thank you, I could eat. I could eat. What are you doing here? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> uh, looks like I might be free for dinner oh, tonight. Me. I will give you a ride. I tell you, things Bye like now. that never happen to an enlisted man. Those Turks are some tough babies, so they tell me. Great fighters, too. <laughs> each other. Next time, fight against the enemy. Put that bloody camera away. Maybe this would help. War is hell, isn't it? Hey, what's this? Oh, God, I'm never going to get this thing started again. And whose, may I ask, are these young children? Ten miles to walk home, but Brigadier Kimmel Chet said you should feel as if this is your home. Thank you. You've all been terribly kind. Come on, you little rat. Mal, he uh, doesn't want you to be late at the villa. Yeah, what the hell's going on? Make a date with some broad. Want to use my room? Oh, come on, Colonel. Now, would I ever? Yes, you would. Come on, 
That's enough. Oh, my you up. I'll be back, and you'll see. <laughs> no, don't you imitate me when my back's turned. <laughs> so bad, huh? Yeah. What the hell are we doing here? A little social get-together. Obviously, some rich American family used to live here. What else is new? It's the same old view. High tide on the 15th. Darker than up. Hey, come on. Don't you ever relax? Well, there's something fishy going on around here. Right, I'll see you two later. I suppose this is his idea of a good turn. Cooking up this family reunion. Yeah, well, I'm gonna kill him. Nice place. You like this kind of furniture. It's beautiful. Well, they get your ship. Day after tomorrow. Straight home. Good old Philadelphia. Ra ra ra. ask about you. Oh, why, did they tell you anything? Mm, just hints that you want something important. I guess. And dangerous? I go in before the others, tomorrow. And Henderson figured, since this was your last night. Look, Frank, I have to say something. As you only gave me five minutes at the airport to tell me the wonderful news. Well, I didn't have time to explain everything. I mean, I prepared a longer speech, but then I was never much for talking. Especially when it, uh... Well, I don't know what to say. Well, do, do you know what you want to say now? I mean, four years together, and all it added up to was conversation. We never talked. Or at least we never told the truth. We went to other people, always. But between Barbara, us two... for Christ's sake, what the hell do you want me to say now? Well, for a start, I mean, is she so goddamn marvelous? Does she cast some special exotic oriental spell that I know nothing about? I swore I wasn't going to do this. But I really want you to tell me, is she so marvelous? Or was she simply warm and available? Was it because she was there? I wanted to tell you, it was nobody's fault. We got married too fast. And it was fun at first. It was fun at Camp Pendleton. Yeah, but then more and more you wanted something to do. I know it's tough being a soldier's wife. At first it was uh, music and painting, and uh, then it was New York. You wanted to publish books. And now it's interior decorating. When I got posted here, you took one look and... That is not fair. First it was this place, then it was Tokyo you were being sent to, then it was the Philippines, Pearl Harbor. Well, I sat here like Madame Butterfly. I'm a Marine. That's a special kind of cat. But you made me feel awkward and clumsy in the world you lived in. Like, a, like, a, like an enlisted man in your private officer's club. I was bored. And I was lonely. Funny thing in our country about wanting to be a soldier. I think 
You must be soft in the head. Or you're so stupid you couldn't find a better job. In times of peace, you're a second-class citizen. But when there's a war, it swings the other way. And any stupid can become an instant hero. A war. Yeah, could be. Uh, look, Frank. Uh, tomorrow you're going to be off wherever it is. You've got problems of your own. Let's leave ours for a moment. And later, when you come back, you tell me the way you want it. That's the way it'll be. believe it. You don't believe in anything. But what? Uh, well, we're about to be kicked out of the country, and the old man brings in two new divisions. What for, Sherry? What for? You tell me, as if you're not going. Invasion. By God, invasion. house here, running to the lighthouse, takes nearly two minutes. That means that even if the guards in the lighthouse give the alarm, we've got two minutes to take over. How many guards are there? In the lighthouse? Mm-hmm. Never more than three or four. Hmm? 
They are not expecting anything. of the channel in the Incheon Harbor. Better than anything the communists have. And it's up to date. You promised to get this cleaned. <laughs> the next time. How many next times? I did not make this world. I just... You'll be back. You won't fail. Anything else, sir boss? Prayer, Jean. Just a prayer. We'll need all the help we can get tomorrow. stay on no matter what. The entire invasion, the entire operation depends on. When they realize what we're up to, they're going to hit us with everything they've got. All right. Let's go. Here has passed by us, no damage, and no new trouble in sight. Visibility, 10 miles. Clear sky in the morning. Wind northeasterly, six knots. Probably cloudy later in the morning, a chance of showers towards evening. Should be five for the next three days. That's all we need. Time to take in, John, then move on into Seoul. All our preparations are completed. No change in the plans in front of you, gentlemen. Operation Chromite is on its way. Sir. As senior officer present, in age, if not in importance, I would like to say on behalf of the six other nationalities, the Foreign Legion, you might call us, that we're proud to be here today and to be serving under the command of General MacArthur. Command of the United Nations. Now the lighthouse will be working in five hours. Time to get back to your ships, gentlemen. And I thank you all. You and the planning staff have done all could possibly be done. Now everything rests in the hands of our fighting men and in the hands of God.
Hasan Ongu. Ne? Ne bire? Hasan Ongu. İri tam daha başı yok. Ongu. Çok iyi. Çok iyi tam başı. France, 1905. Well, it's a good year for wine, but I don't know about lighthouses. General? Sorry, but you can't light that. We're blacked out on board. I thank you, sir. 261 ships of that damn channel. 58 more minutes, sir. Without that light, we cannot make a move. Yo, all the money. Make some more 
Sanford's to work with, I suppose. Uh -huh. Hey, careful with that. You think I would be? I would be the first to go. Yeah, by about a hundredth of a second, I guess. Some more. The electric away. Cut off two meters. And hand it to me. Hurry! Hurry! Good. Two more to go. I have already wired the others. Quick! Ten minutes. You may have already united. Plenty of time, General. Jesus, I wish to God there was. Now, now!
Christ to happen right now. Five minutes to go, sir. If the landing crafts don't start right now, they'll never be in position by daylight. General, it'll take ten minutes to send the signals out and call to call off the operation. And I'm trying to tell you, General, you don't have ten minutes. The boats are already coming into the channel. Hmm. I can just see them. General, you promised. If the lights didn't go on, you promised you'd cancel. I shall keep my word. General Armand? Yes, sir. I wish you to send a message to the President as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the United States. It is with text as follows. It is with sadness and regret that the operations at Incheon are to be called off as at this moment. No blame for this should be attached to any officer or man of the United Nations Expeditionary Forces. All and any responsibility for the disaster, change that, say failure, for the failure at Inchon must fall on me and on my inability to serve my country as I once was able to in the past. With this message is contained my relinquishment of power granted to me as commander of the United Nations forces in Korea. Signature. To be appended. Douglas MacArthur, General of the Army. They did it! It's working! <laughs> it's working! <laughs> Battle stations! Send in the first and second destroyer divisions and prepare for fleet bombardment. General Amundsen, get a relief party ashore that island. That light must not take so again. Uh, General Armand, have you that uh, message? Documentary evidence. So damnably confusive. But you would have kept your promise. I did. With a little help. Of course, I took as long as I could dictating it. Why did you give God 
every chance to get that line up.
sir. There's snipers on that roof up there. Why? So they are.
goddamn many press in one place in my life. Haven't you heard? The general's got an important announcement to make. Yeah. Did you hear that from the New York Philharmonic? He's going to say that he's running for president. You can get in as emperor. I thought you didn't approve. The generals would tie their hair. From now on, I would make it compulsory for every other U.S. general to do the same. I'm not kidding. of government. All I can offer is what I have tried to write down to you. The undying gratitude of the Korean statements that may change history. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Barak ballads of that day and lead us not into which proclaimed most proudly that old soldiers never die. They just fade away. And like the old soldier of that ballad, I now close my military career and just fade away. An old soldier who tried to do his duty as God gave him the light to see that duty. Goodbye.